Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to understand the hazards of using imperative code. Functional programming is a good habit. It keeps your code easy to manage and saves you from sneaky bugs. But before we get there, let's look at imperative approach to programming to highlight where you may have issues. In English and any other language, the imperative tense is used to give commands. And similarly, an imperative style in programming is one that gives the computer a set of statements to perform a task. Often the statements change the state of the program, like updating global variables. A classical example is writing a for loop that gives exact directions to iterate over the indices of an array. In contrast, functional programming is a form of declarative programming. You tell the computer what you want done by calling a method or function. JavaScript offers many predefined methods that handle common tasks, so you don't need to write out how the computer should perform them. For example, instead of using the for loop mentioned above, you could call the map method which handles the details of iterating over an array. This helps to avoid semantic errors, like off by one errors, uh, that were covered in the debugging section. So consider the scenario you are browsing the web in your browser and want to track the tabs you have opened. Let's try to model this using some simple object oriented code. A window object is made up of tabs. You usually have more than one tab open. The titles of each open site in each window object is held in an array. After working in the browser, opening new tabs, merging windows, and closing tabs, you want to print the tabs that are still open. Closed tabs are removed from the array, and, and new tabs, for simplicity, get added to the end of it. The code editor shows an implementation of this functionality with functions for tab open, tab close, and join. The array tabs is part of the window object that stores the name of the open pages. Examine the code ed in the editor. It's using a method that has side effects in the program causing incorrect behavior. Um, cool. The final list of open tabs stored in final.tabs, final tabs.tabs should be Facebook, Gitter, Reddit, Twitter, Medium, New Tab, Netflix, YouTube, Vine, Gmail, Work, Mail, Docs, Free Code Camp, and a new tab. But the list produced by the code is slightly different. Gitter, Reddit, Twitter, Medium, New Tab, Netflix, YouTube, G uh, so it doesn't have Vine. YouTube, Gmail, it doesn't have Work, Email, Free Code Camp, New Tab. Okay, so it's missing Vine and Work, Email. Change the window.prototype.tab close so that it removes the correct tab. Okay. So basically we just are missing Vine. Yeah, it should be, it should include Vine and um, Docs. Docs. Workmail. Oh, no, yeah. So this is what it should have. This is what it should have. But this isn't what it has. It doesn't have, uh, it has right after Gmail. It skips work email and goes straight to docs and then free code camp and then here. So we need to figure out how to add um, work mail to this in between Gmail and docs and uh, Vine between YouTube and Gmail. So the tab is an array of titles for each site open within the window. So the window is a function of tabs. This.tabs is equal to tabs. We keep a record of the array inside the object. So inside of the object, Inside of the function, we're keeping a this.tabs. Uh, the window.prototype.join, we're adding the function other, of other window. This.tabs is equal to this tabs, tabs.concat. Other window tabs, return this. When you join two windows into one window. Okay. When you open a new tab at the end. So we open tab is equal to this stops tabs and then we push on a new tab which means we're just pushing new tab into the array and then we're returning this which is the whole window uh, when you close a tab you just a uh, function we only want to change the line below this code um, and we only want to change above this one okay wow this is a lot um, okay so I just got off line and I kind of take a look at this now they only want us to change the code within here now, the thing that I'm noticing is that what we're doing is splicing. If you remember from previous lessons, splicing affects the original data. Um, okay, so what do, we, what do I mean by that? Um, 
let's see here. Let's console.log. Here we're going to console.log the social window dot tabs, right? I'm going to comment out this guy down here. Here's the social window dot tabs. I'm going to do it again, but what I'm going to do is go in between it. I'm going to do a social window dot tabs dot slice. Sorry. Dot tabs dot splice uh, zero two. Okay, so now you see, so what's happening is we're, we're messing with the array, right? The social window.tabs here is Facebook, Gitter, Reddit, Twitter, Medium. The splice is actually removing it. So when we call these tabs, we're actually screwing with the data, right? The, um, now all of a sudden the splice becomes equal to Reddit, Twitter, Medium, Reddit, Twitter, Medium. It actually starts at, at position two, Reddit, Twitter, Medium. So if we do two, we're getting... Zero, uh, we're, we're, we're taking all from zero to that, and then we don't do that. So what we're doing is we're messing with the social windows.tab. Now if we do slice, nothing actually happens. We could console log the results of this, and that'll give us what we're looking for. And that'll get a Reddit, Twitter, Medium, right? Now um, with this one, we actually want to be doing it with the video window, so... So, yeah, what we wanted to do is uh, not include uh, Vimeo. So we want it to slice to be, well, we want to go zero to index, right? Zero to two. So that gets us Netflix and YouTube. And then our next slice, we want to go three. And that till the end. And that gets us Vine. Okay, cool. And then... Well, what if what we want to do is add this and this together? But have you, you noticed that the win, video window dot tabs? You see, this is not being affected. Video window dot, not dot tabs. But if we go splice, this becomes Netflix and YouTube, and then this one has nothing at three. So because the splice mutates the data in the um, tabs, that causes these uh, really bizarre and un, unpredictable challenges. So we want to make sure that we use non mutatable. Uh, functions when we're pulling stuff out. So what we want is the video tab, video window tabs to be Netflix, YouTube, and Vine. So here we're pulling them out, but we're not messing with the original data because the um, these functions mess with the original data. When, if we go video open dot tab, we're using these to um, to add in. We're, we're here we're adding to the array. Here we're um, joining the arrays. And here we're, we're just calling the tabs. And so we want to only use the functions to do that. So, okay, so if we look at what we need to do, what's happening is we're getting, okay, I'm going to comment out these console logs. We don't need them right now. I'm going to reconsole this guy. And so right now, our, again, our data is coming back. It should be new tab, Netflix, YouTube, Vine. Gmail. But not inbox and not work mail. Not inbox. Okay. So what's happening is our work window down here, work window dot tab close at one and video window tab close dot two. So we want to close tab two and then tab close one. So these both have to work together, both for the video and the work window. And so what we're going to do is instead of splicing the array, we're just going to slice the array. Because here, we have the tabs before index, so which means we can just use this variable to, sa to um, save all the tabs before the index. And then we use this one to save all the tabs after the index, but not including the index. And then we say this.tabs is where we add this before index, and then we add the tabs after the index. So we just take the first bit, all the tabs that were before the one we just closed, and all the tabs after the one we just closed, and we just leave this one behind. But we don't mutate the original tabs array. So then we put that together, and then we have our new tabs array, and that's what we return. 
Um, so if I look at it now, Facebook, Gitter, Reddit, Twitter, Medium, New Tab, Netflix, YouTube, YouTube, Vimeo, Vine. Okay, so something's wrong, right? Because we're getting YouTube in there twice when we were tried to tab it out. We were closing YouTube when we said video window close tab two. Because up here, video zero, one, two. Okay, so we're having an indexing issue, right? So we want to tab slot slice. Well, let's see. We know we want a video window. This is the tabs of the video window. Let's console.log dot splice or oh, slice uh, zero two. And then we'll just uh, comment out the console log for here. So we've got Netflix and YouTube. Now this should be our first one. So Netflix, YouTube, Vine. We want to go next to Netflix, YouTube, and cut Vimeo, and then Vine. Okay, cool. So this is good. And then we want to go three, right? So Netflix, YouTube, Vine, and we want to add them together. So it should be zero, two, and three. Um, here, um, we're passing in for the window to tab close, position two. So we want to pass in um, zero and then index, zero index, and then um, index plus one. And so here we have z index minus one. So if we change this to plus, we get Netflix, YouTube, Vine. Okay, so let's get rid of these console logs. This is not important anymore. Let's go back to the original test. And if we look, we've got Facebook, Gitter, Reddit, Facebook, Gitter, Reddit, Twitter, Medium, New Tab, Netflix, YouTube, Vine, Gmail, Workmail, Docs, Free Code Camp, and New Tab. Awesome. If we run the test, this should pass. Okay, so I'm going to go over this one more time, what we've done here. We're only changing the code between these lines, right? Instead of it being splice, we're making this slice. So we're getting all the tabs, and we're just making a copy of them rather than cutting out the original data. S slice makes it so the um, tabs that are open don't get altered by us selecting from them. And then we had a off by one error within here. And that's why we changed this to plus one instead of minus one. And uh, we didn't have to change this joining them together. This was fine. And this is good because um, now we can, when we come down here and we say, <clears throat> um, video window dot close tab, tab close so when we, we want to close the tab in the third position then that works and so yeah that's it uh yeah this is a bit of a, a jump in complexity but um that's what we're going for you guys are getting better and better so hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson